Hello and welcome back to the Tin Barn. I'm Pragmatic Lee and this week's video is going to be in response to a uh, viewer request. If you recall several weeks ago I did this video on making this uh, pin for the tractor and on this end down here was a taper and in that video I, uh, I made the comment <clears throat> that if any of you were interested in uh, how to calculate uh, the angle to cut a taper on the lathe to leave me a comment and uh, I would see if I could put together a video explaining that and surprisingly I got numerous requests in the comments to see the math on that. Now I hope some of you are not going to be disappointed because this is not simple uh, arithmetic adding, dividing, uh, multiplying and so forth. It involves some trigonometry and after I said what I said about making a video I become a little bit reluctant to even do this video because I do not know trigonometry. Uh, I know how to program. I was a programmer for over 30 years and know how to use, use code to solve problems. But to try to explain to you trigonometry, I cannot do it. And I'm sure there's several of you watching this that are much better versed in trig than I am. If I had my high school days to go over again and had a, a little more um, common sense, I guess you'd call it, back then, I would have taken a whole lot more high-level math classes, calculus, trig, geometry, and so forth. I took one year of algebra, I think, and one year of geometry. Uh, some of it stuck, some of it didn't. But it's you. we say we never use this in our, in our lifetime, but I'll guarantee you, you use algebra practically every day. But in any case, let's look at what it's going to take to calculate the taper, uh, to use, uh, calculate the angle to cut a taper on your lathe. I've made a little drawing here that is somewhat of an exaggeration of what you might encounter on the uh, on the lathe, but I got it uh, hopefully large enough that you can uh, you can see what I'm talking about. In this length right here, or this dimension, four inch, we'll call that the large diameter. That's the large diameter of your workpiece. Over here we're going with an inch and a half uh, for the small diameter, this end, and then five and a half inches for the length. Now I'll say this, I've got these values expressed in inches and in millimeters. Four inches is 101.6, one and a half is 38.1, five and a half is 139.7. The value we're looking for here in degrees uh, is neither metric nor imperial. The value of that angle is determined by the relationship of the large diameter, the small diameter, and the length. Here is the formula. It's the arc tangent of the radius of the large diameter minus the radius of the small diameter divided by the length expressed in degrees, not radians, but in degrees. All right, so we said in our formula, we want the radius of the large diameter. We know ra radius is half the diameter. So I'm going to come over here, 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Simple math, 4 divided by 2 equals 2. The small diameter, 1.5 divided by 2 equals 0 0.75. 1.5 divided by 2 equals 0 0.75. Now, we, that's give us the radius of the large diameter and the small diameter. So we want to subtract the radius of the small diameter from the radius of the large diameter. 
So that gives us 2 minus 0.75 is 1.25. Two minus 0.75, 1.25. If we divide that by the length, which is 5.5, we come out with 0 0.227. 1.25 divided by 5.5 equals 0.227. Now, if we did the same thing with the uh, metric dimensions, 106, whoops, excuse me, 101.6 divided by 2 is 50.8, 38.1 divided by 2 is 19.05, 50.8 minus 19.05 is 31.75, we divide that by the length which is 139.7, we come up with 0.227. Same math. We come up with the same value, which again is proportional to the large diameter minus the small diameter, uh, large, radius of the large diameter minus the radius of the small diameter divided by the length. Now, our formula says that we need to get the arc tangent of that value and it needs to be expressed in degrees versus radians. That will mean a little bit more when we go over to the computer in just a moment. I'm going to use my iPhone here and as you're all aware, iPhone has a calculator. All right, here's the iPhone calculator. I'm sure the Android phones have something very similar. Uh, I do know on the iPhone, this is just simple add, addition, subtraction, multiplication, uh, division, percentage. But if you turn your device sideways, you get a scientific calculator. Now, when we look at this scientific calculator, we can see sine, cosine, tangent, uh, various other scientific functions, exponentials, and so forth. But we don't see arc tangent anywhere, and arc tangent is what we want. If you look right over here, there's a button that says second. So we'll type or uh, press that. Now we see tan minus one, which is the same thing as arc tangent. So if we put our value that we came into when we divided the radius of the large diameter minus the radius of the small diameter, when we divided it by the length, we come up with 0.227. So 0.227 tan minus 1, that tells us 12.789 degrees or 12.8 degrees. Now, if I come over here, take my simple little protractor, and I come up here, set that protractor up, manually look at it, which I probably should have done that before I, uh, before I showed you the math. That looks like, as best I can read on this protractor, about 12 and a half degrees. So we calculated 12.8. Now again, that's the way you use the scientific function on here to, to get the arc tangent. I'm going to turn over to the computer now, and I'm going to show you just a little bit of programming. Uh, as, I say, as I said earlier, I programmed for 30 plus years. Uh, and I'm going to way oversimplify this same formula in a simple little Python program. Okay, before we uh, uh, get into the programming, let me show you something on Windows 10 here. We all know about the calculator that comes with Windows 10. It's a standard calculator. If we click right up here, we can choose scientific calculator. We put in our value point. 227 that we calculated before 
and go to the trigonometry and just like the iPhone calculator we click the second button and the tan minus one and there's our 12.8 degrees same thing we calculated on the uh, iPhone calculator alright let's open up a simple editor for those of you that are uh, that do programming uh, as well I'm using the Genie calculator the Genie editor G-E-A-N-Y uh, it's cross-platform between Windows Mac uh, and Linux so it's a it's a good uh, or say an editor that I like to use uh, so remember uh, we've got some values we need to set up the large diameter we'll call that uppercase D and that is was four inches on our drawing the small diameter we'll use lowercase d was 1.5 the length was 5.5 now in very simple terms left of the equal sign is a freely defined variable I could have spelled that out and said large diameter I could have spelled this out and said small diameter I could have spelled that out and said length I could have used ABC here I could have used anything basically anything I wanted to for the variable names I'm using something that hopefully is rel relative to what it is large D for the large diameter small D for the small diameter and L for the length now the first thing we need to do the radius of the large diameter was equal to D divided by 2 radius of the small diameter was equal to the small diameter divided by 2 now the difference again I can I can name these variables anything I want to name them So the radius difference is the radius of the large diameter minus the radius of the small diameter. Then the, the diff uh, divided by the length is equal to the radii diff divided by L so at this point we should have a value uh, that would correspond to the simple math that we do, did before so let's just simply do a print statement here uh, the diff len and let's save that and execute it point two two seven two seven two seven two seven if you recall back on our uh, previous screen uh, paper screen we come up with point two two seven when we use metric values or we used imperial values all right but now we need some trigonometry functions the Python language has standard basic math built into it addition subtraction multiplication division to get the um, trigonometry functions we need a new library we need to import a library called math that's particular to the Python language so now we come down here and we're going to say the uh, compound angle radians equals math that library we just imported dot arctan of the diff len 
Now, the reason I say radians here, the Python language, this library, math library in Python, returns everything in radians. I have programmed over the decades in several different languages, at least five if not six different languages, and every one of them that had trigonometry functions in them returned degrees except for Python. It returns radians. So I know from past experience that Python, the arctangent of the math library of the difference of the, in the length, difference divided by the length, is going to come back in radians. So if we, to convert that, those radians to degrees, we're going to say uh, computed angle degrees equals the math dot degrees of what we calculated right here. So the compound angle expressed in degrees. You remember our original formula up here said the arc tangent of the radius of the large diameter minus the radius of the small diameter divided by the length expressed in degrees. Now let's print that out and see what the compound angle degrees comes to. And there's our 12.804. Uh, again, this is these are scientific values. If we recall on the other calculators, it was 12.79789 some value. Uh, these are approximations uh, when you go converting radians to degrees. For our situation, we want to use one more thing in in uh, uh, in Python. We'll call this the rounded uh, compound angles in the rounded compound angle equals round of the CA degrees to one decimal place. And we'll print the RCA rounded compound angle. 12.8 degrees. If you're setting your uh, your compound on your uh, on your lathe, if you can get it within a half a degree, you're doing pretty good. Uh, especially on the smaller bench top lathes like you've seen me operate. Okay, so I'm pretty well convinced that a whole lot of you, the majority of you are never going to try to calculate this uh, through math using your iPhone calculator or your, your desktop calculator, nor is any of you, nor do I expect any of you to sit down and write a program. It is fun to do and it is fun to see the math uh, on how to do it. But if you just need to set your compound angle uh, on your lathe to cut a taper. Let me suggest you try this. Do a Google search for taper angle calculator. One of the first hits that come back will be omnicalculator.com taper calculator. Click that. And here we have the same thing. You can specify millimeters, centimeters, meters, inches, and whatever. But remember, if you keep them all the same, you're going to come up, uh, keep them all the same unit of measure. So our major diameter was 4 inches. Our minor diameter was 1.5. Our length was 5.5. And you see, we have 12.8 degrees. 
If you want them ugly radians, there's what radians are. 12.8 degrees. So here's a simple way. Again, it's omnicalculator.com and there are dozens if not hundreds of these taper calculators on the internet. Find you one you like. So there you have the math to determine uh, what angle to set your compound at uh, to cut a taper, uh, to, to turn a taper on your lathe. I hope you've got a little bit out of this. Uh, again, this is more just for informational purposes because I'm sure most of you are going to turn to a taper calculator on the internet uh, to do this calculation for you or to find the value for you. Depending on how well this, uh, this video is accepted and what the comments look like on it, I may do one more video uh, similar to this dealing with how to match a bolt hole pattern. We all know uh, that you can go to your DRO and you can easily set up a, a bolt hole pattern where basically all you need to know is your starting point, the number of holes in your uh, bolt hole pattern, the diameter of your bolt hole pattern, what angle you're going to start at or what angle the first hole is going to be at, which is normally zero, and the angle for the last hole. I think most of us that have a DRO on our mills know how to, to do that. What you may not know how to do though is how to match an existing bolt hole pattern. Of course, the simple way is use transfer punches. But if you don't have a set of transfer punches or it's not uh, the bolt hole pattern that you want to match is not at a position where you could uh, use transfer punches, there's some, again, simple math involving trig on how you can measure the distance between the holes in your bolt hole pattern, the, di uh, the diameter of the holes, and from that, calculate the diameter of your bolt hole pattern. So if you're interested in seeing that, drop me another comment. Uh, I'll try to put together a simple little video like this where I'll show you the math on paper and calculator and then maybe write a simple little Python program again. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Take care and I'll see you on the next video.